one of London's cultural crowds, toasting the arrival of a new artist to the city's modern scene. Work depicting the decrepit spaces and graffitied streets, which have made London's East End world-renowned. But the work on display here is certainly not from someone you would consider new or trendy. His name is John, and John is homeless. Years spent in and out of prison, coupled with a history of substance abuse, have left John on the streets for much of his life. I do sell them, sweetheart, and pictures. But it was only recently that an injury ended his time dodging the law and forced him into something much more creative. Selling pictures of his best friend and muse, George the dog, John quickly built a steady following and grew into something of a high street artist in residence. People are coming up to me all the time telling me how much they like my stuff and I sell a lot of pictures anyway so the proof is in the pudding, um, you know. The work itself focuses on the mundane, the gritty details that often go unnoticed. But the work John is producing has been noticed by some of the world's best known street artists. Encouraging and collaborating with John on his first show because of what they consider to be a unique talent. He's got his style and he's got his way of uh, expressing himself. It's his uh, way of communicating and uh, it's his language. Well, it seems like John's work has gone down very well tonight with London's discerning art scene. There's over 60 works on display here, ranging from the very small, costing about $50, to these works. Larger landscapes, costing anywhere between five and $8,000. A high price for a man used to selling his work for just a fraction of that out there on London streets. John admits his newfound funds and growing notoriety will change his situation. But he also wants to help others who have been in his position. Already he has donated work to raise money for a homeless charity as well as aid agencies abroad. We're all here for a reason and I think it's we're all there just to help a fellow human being. Like people in shortage have done for me for the last three, for the last three years. When they wasn't buying pictures, they was putting money in my cup. You know, they was helping me get by and sustain myself each day. Um, and basically I'm going to turn that around and uh, help other people. But one thing John promises success won't change is the time spent on the street. Perhaps not his home for much longer, but still his inspiration. Tom Donkin, BBC News, East London.